Hey, what is up guys? I'm back with another video and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best streaming slash recording se uh, settings in OBS for 1080p 30 FPS and 1080p 60 FPS. So I'm not going to show you guys anything with the sources. If you need any help with uh, sources like whether to use display capture or game capture and things like that, um, comment down below and I'll make a separate video on that. But in this video, I'm just going to be focusing on the settings. So first off, go into your settings tab right here. And we're going to mostly be focusing on the output uh, and the video um, tab. So go to the video tab. And if you are going to be doing 1080p um, recording, set both of these to 1920 by 1080, your base canvas resolution, your output uh, resolution. Now, if by any chance your monitor, like my monitor and my PC are both running it, at a 2K resolution. So like I have the option for 2560 by 1440. So if your monitor is a 2K resolution monitor, I would set the base canvas resolution to whatever your monitor is, and then set your output scale to 1920 by 1080. Um, this downscale filter right here, um, I usually put it on bicubal, which is the 16 samples. Um, you can put it on 36 samples if you have a higher end PC. Um, it's, it's really not going to uh, hurt that much of performance. You'll see a little bit more sharpness in your videos too. I usually just keep it on 16, but if you'd like, you can go to uh, 36. I wouldn't really go below that because then it kind of messes with the quality a little bit. Um, but starting off with, we are going to go to 30 FPS. So 1080p 30 FPS, go to your output tab now. And up here where it says output mode, uh, change this to advanced and it'll open up these tabs right here. You'll start off in streaming. Now with streaming, uh, if you do not have an, an NVIDIA capture card, use X264. But if by any chance you do use the NVIDIA NVENC uh, H.264, it is by far the best thing that you can use for the encoder, both recording and streaming wise. So if you do have an NVIDIA, car, NVIDIA card, you are in luck there. Um, but keep this rate control right here on a constant bit rate. You do, don't want to change that to anything else. Keep that on constant bit rate. And then if you are doing a uh, 1080p 30 FPS, set this to 4,500, uh, kilobits per second. And if you are doing a uh, 1080p 60 FPS, set this to, uh, 6,000, which Twitch says is the max that you can do. Now, if your internet or your PC is not the best in the world, you might want to adjust this down a little bit. I wouldn't really recommend going down lower than 4,500, um, even if you are doing, well, with 1080p 30, you can set it to, it, you can also set it to 6,000 if you would like to, um, get a little bit better quality, but it's recommended to do um, 1080p 60 at 6,000 kilobits and then 1080p 30 at 4,500. Uh, but I wouldn't go under 4,500 if you are recording in 1080p. Um, now, if you're shooting for quality here, which I'm assuming you are, um, go to on the preset, go to max quality, and then profile. You can put put on high. Look ahead. You can uncheck that. Uh, psycho visual tuning. You can keep that checked. All this stuff right here won't change. Just the max quality. Now, if you do have a good PC and you want to record at a higher bit rate, I, I think you actually can. Um, I actually set mine to like 7,200 or 7,500 one time. I'm pretty sure you might be able to do um, 7,500. And I've also read in a few uh, forums, which I will put on the screen, where this one guy was talking about how he did his uh, like 8,250. So you might be able to do that. And you can just try it out. If it gives you an error, then you know you can't go over a certain bit rate. And I think if, if you are an affiliate on Twitch, um, you can actually, you don't really have a bit rate control. I'm not certain, but I saw in the post that someone said that they had theirs at uh, 12,000 uh, kilobits. So I would just mess with it a little bit if you want to go higher, try you know, work your way up, go to 7,000, see if that works, and then 72, 75, and just work your way up. And the uh, on the post, it said the guy said that he went up to 8,250, and then anytime he tried to go higher to like 8,400 or 8,500, uh, he was getting an error code. 
Now on YouTube, I'll put them on screen. I'm not certain what their bit rate uh, goes to. I think it's actually higher than Twitch, to be honest with you. I think you can stream at a higher bit rate. I think you can actually stream in 4K resolution, which I will do videos on that. Um, next up though, we are going to go to recording. Uh, this is what I do most. I don't really stream. Once you select advanced, this is the first thing that it'll show. Um, go keep this on standard and then go to your recording path and browse and then select if, wherever you want to keep your files on your desktop. Now with recording format, um, MKV isn't a bad format. I, I always do MP4 cause it's the most compatible, but it will tell you here at the bottom that pretty much what it's saying is if you lose power or anything like that, that it shuts off just out of nowhere. Um, it will corrupt your file. So the like, MKV and I think these um, other ones will not corrupt your file if you, by any chance, your power goes out, your PC goes out, well, the file will still be there. It'll just stop where the power went out and your PC shut off. But if you if that occurs and you're recording an MP4, your file is corrupt and you have to re-record everything. Now me, I use MP4. I really don't have to because the software that I use is compatible with pretty much any of these. Um, but I just like recording MP4. It's what I've always used. It, in my, I have a mindset that it's better when really it's not necessarily better than these other ones other than it has more compatibility. The quality looks the same. But that's just personal preference really. Or if you're not really worried about losing the file, then do MP4. Uh, but if you're afraid that something like that could happen, power outage or something like that, I would do MKV. Um, now next, go to encoder. And we are also going to select the NVIDIA encoder again. And when you select it, it's going to open up a whole slew of things here. Uh, skip all this stuff right here and go down to rate control. Keep that at CBR, which is a constant bit rate. And then I would recommend setting your bit rate to about somewhere between like 22,000 and maybe like 25,000. If you're recording on a capture card, like I have the Elgato Game Capture HD 60S, which records 1080p 60fps gameplay, and it records at about 23,000 kilobits. So I usually set my bitrate to about 25,000 kilobits on um, OBS, and then the preset, of course, you're going to want to put the max quality and all this other set, like keyframes, uh, set that at, at zero, and then keep the GPU at zero and max B frames at two. All this other stuff will say the same. All you really need to mess with is make sure your rate control is uh, CBR. Some people recommend not using CBR, but I always use it. If you're really shooting for quality and you don't, and you have a lot of storage and you don't mind file size, you can try lossless. Um, I will go through that later on in other videos, but pretty much what it is, is it records the exact quality like bit for bit that you are playing so like i can sit here and just say record 10 minutes of video and it'd be um let's say two gigabytes or something like that in 1080p 60 fps well if i do a 10 minute video in lossless quality it's going to be about 17 gigabytes just in 10 minutes it's insanely large um people that have a lot of storage and a beefy computer can really handle it because Mine is a is a really high end PC, but I still have trouble if I'm going to record lossless quality and play the game at the same time. It's not going to happen. Um, but other than that, this is about what the settings you want for recording CBR. Probably I would honestly set it to twenty five thousand kilobits. You can set it between twenty and twenty five thousand. Um, and if you're using a capture card, you're probably going to be recording at about twenty three. Um, max quality, of course, if that's what you're going for, and keep profile on high. And other than that, that's about it for this. Um, I can go over audio in another video if you guys would like. Just comment down below and let me know if there's any, if you have any questions with OBS or if there are other things you would like me to show you in OBS. Um, but I do hope this video helped you guys and I'll see you guys next time.